right, Miss Anita, these are the whale tails. And they are beautiful wood, it's gorgeous wood, but you can see how thick they are. And then these are the round ones. So this one here just has the wood frame on the back. And it sits like that. So it sits about um, yeah, three quarters of an inch off the wall. So I build a little frame for each of the wood ones. And then this is how I finish it up. So that's a finished one. So that way you get, get the idea of how these will be. So I'll build a frame that's going to come like about like this, a long narrow one, so it can sit about an inch off the wall. All right, that's it. Have a great day, Aloha. Okay, second part of the process, clear coating. They are already clear coated, did that outside because uh, it was a spray coat and definitely did not want to asphyxiate myself or stink up my studio. So these are now dry and ready for the next stage, which is gesso. Yay. Nice big project. Love it. Okay, four well tails are now gessoed and drying. After they're all dry, I will sand them again and decide if they need another coat of gesso. Prepping out these wood plaques has been quite the process. But it's all going to be worth it in the end. Okay, day two of my well tail project. And today I cut the form for the back, which is going to allow the well tail to sit about, oh, this one is going to be about five eighths of an inch away from the wall. I have a couple different sizes. These two will be five eighths of an inch. And this one is a lot more like um, three quarters or so, which is about the same width as the well tail. So now I need to glue them and get them all centered perfectly. And once they are all glued down, I am dry, then I'll be able to go on to the next stage, the fun stage, the actual painting on my well tail stage. Well, I hope you all have a great day. Aloha. Aloha. Welcome to my studio on Maui. Today I'm going to be doing some acrylic pouring and I'm going to show you my colors that I've pre-mixed and they are all ready to go. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? These are all colors of the ocean. And for the last couple of days, I've been prepping these well tails. These are big, thick wooden plaques that I had specially cut and made. I've been uh, sanding them and sealing them and I made a special support bar in the back so there won't be any um, warping or anything plus it will also act as a hanger so I have four of them and they are all going to get acrylic pours on them today and if you bear with me a minute I will put my phone back up on the stand if I don't trip over anything Okay, hey, welcome back. I am ready to start pouring, but first I'm gonna put on my gloves because this is a very messy project. 
I already have paint all over my hands, but not on my fingernails yet. So like I mentioned, this is um, my plaques that I've been, I have special cut, specially made so that I can do some fun acrylic pouring on these. It's a uh, well season. Our first well has been spotted yesterday here in Maui and it's really exciting. He, the one that was spotted yesterday is pretty early. Normally they're not here until um, January with, when they are coming here for mating and giving birth. Okay, I'm going to start pouring, uh, mixing my pre-mixed colors. I'm going to start pouring into these cups and for each individual one, and then I'm going to probably put three cups on each um, plaque. So I'm, I'm going to do um, all blues for one of them. And for another, I'm going to do just all uh, aqua colors. And a little bit more of that one. All right. So this is uh, very quick. I'm going to just push it over like that and fill up another cup. I thought about having some music on, but I thought it would be too noisy and you wouldn't be able to hear me, so I decided to not worry about any music. So you're just going to have to bear with me and... Oh, that one was much better. No spillage. I'm getting pretty fast at these. to also remind myself to keep talking because um, you guys will probably not ta-da cool okay we'll get another one with just the aqua colors and I'll do that on this one over here again all these are pre-mixed I use I use ceram coat paint for my colors and I use Floetrol for my additive into the paints in order to make them more um, flow. It's the flow aid that creates the paint to be more fluid. fluid. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. I also added a little bit of metallic white in with some of these colors so that it would come out a little shiny. that is it's already looking gorgeous okay one more cup for that one and I'm just randomly picking these colors I'm not um, worried about any particular uh, I'm not particularly worried about the 
Oops, come on in. Hey, Murray, I'm recording. Come on in, Murray. Oh my goodness. We got you at a bad time, didn't we? Yeah. Sorry about that. That's okay. So you I'm go right ahead. In, I'm right in the middle of recording. I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are busy. That's okay. That's okay. Let Here's me. A picture. Um, yeah, I'm, I was just set up to do all these. Fantastic. Wow. You didn't but, want anybody bothering you. That's why I had the door <laughs> shut, but that's okay. I wanted Carol to see the big picture. Can she scoot under there or go uh, by? No, let, me turn off the, let me turn off the video. Oh. 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 Okay, how about round three? Let's, uh, might as well just kind of start doing these little babies since they've been sitting here long enough. Oh yeah, those are going to be gorgeous. I might need four cups. village. Just checking all the edges, making sure it's all covered around the edges. Okay, that's pretty. Hope you guys can see that okay. I'll get this one going. And I gotta be very careful I don't get that green on. Spread that around a little bit more. So in the last video, the gentleman and his Murray and his wife that just came in, Murray is the gentleman that wrote Jigs 
a lesson for Jigs and Jigs the Beginning, the children's book that I had the privilege of working on this last, uh, during the spring, during the pandemic. Oh, these are gonna be so beautiful. Anyway, so he had came by to pick up the painting that he had um, commissioned me to do. It was the um, lava painting that I did. And also pick up the um, sample book. pretty all right I think I'm pretty happy with these two what you guys think pretty nice okay so I'm gonna do um, one of them I'm gonna do four cups instead of three cups obviously three cups wasn't enough I'm going to mix the aquas and the blues together. And again, I'm just gonna randomly add them into my cups here. I'm not going to worry about um, any particular rhythm of color. It's just gonna be color added. Another thing I can do is just add more paint too to each of these cups. That's good. Add a little more of this one. Or uh, this one. And I'm going to give up on the gloves. careful I don't um, do these over the wet paint. need to do four cups because I'm filling these cups up a little bit further, a little um, more than the last ones. And I have a feeling I'm going to end up needing to make more paint. if I have to make more paint.
it looks like I'm going to need to make more paint for this guy because I don't have enough to get it to cover it. So I'm going to use up this one on here as well. Okay, let's check out these colors. Ooh. It's looking beautiful already. love this magic. I mean, it's just, it's just magical the way it comes out and just explodes. Oh, so beautiful. is pretty. Ah, I love this sweeping, the sweeping motion right here. So gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to wipe my hands all off. I'm going to stop the video and then I'm coming back to do this one. Okay, let's try this one more time. I uh, warned my husband, let him know I was recording so he wouldn't let any more people come into my studio. Um, not that I mind, I love people coming in and interrupting me, but um, I want to finish this recording. All right, so I mixed more paint and these are coming out fantastic they look gorgeous oh look at this that is so beautiful that trail of bubbles and this one just looks like marbling it's so beautiful and I like this ribbon effect okay last one and I have a lot of paint I I went kind of nuts with the paint made lots of extra stuff So I definitely am not going to run out this time. So my next project after doing this video is figuring out how to splice all the videos together. So it could be one long video. I'm using up some of these colors um, from this pour. this dark blue. This dark blue is phthalo blue. It is my ultimate favorite color. All right, so let's put that one there.
that one there. for me color is so pretty not a lot left but a little bit enough to give some streaks throughout Bit of this beautiful phthalo blue, my absolute favorite color blue. Go to the last drop. I'm getting good at flipping. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so just to let you know, all of these are for sale, and they will be up on my website as soon as they are dry and varnished. Or you can uh, message me. Feel free to message me, and uh, if you're interested in any one of these, you know, you might want to... Do it early because you never know how fast these will sell. Oh, this is going to be so gorgeous. Oh, yeah. This is like instant magic, guys. It is so beautiful. Let's pull some of this back a little bit. All right. There's a little thick spot here. I need to Sometimes there are little thick blobs of stuff from the flow trawl gets in there and I don't want those in there because it will dry with a bump and leave a, a bump on the surface. Okay, so there we have it. Those came out absolutely gorgeous. I have no idea which one's my favorite. I'm going to 
come around, grab the phone. So you can see them up close. Look at that. That is so beautiful. And this one. Okay, so let me know which one is your favorite. And I'm going to end the video now. Thank you for joining me. Aloha.